to day three of counting coins. Solving word problems about money. Solve the problems. What is the total value of these coins? Circle the correct answer. We have a group of coins over here. Because our quarter has the biggest value of 25 cents, that's the one I'm going to start with. Some of you may like to group coins together. For example, here I have two dimes and a nickel, 10, 25. If I wanted to, I could just count these three coins as a second quarter. If you don't quite want to do that yet, that's okay. We can just skip count the coins as we go. Quarter, 25. If I add five more, I would make a 10. 25 plus five is 30. Now I can add my tens on easily. 40, 50, 60. 60 plus five is 65. That leaves our two pennies, put 65 in my head, and I'm gonna count up one more, 66, and then one more, 67. Look over here at our answer choices. There are 67 cents here, so we're going to circle answer choice C. A bookmark costs 68 cents. Haley uses three quarters to pay for it. Which coins could she get back as change? Circle the correct answer. In order to answer this question, you have to know how much money three quarters is worth. Remember, when we count quarters, we say 25, 50, 75, one dollar. It takes four quarters to make a dollar. So if I have three quarters, that means that I have 75 cents. 25, 50, 75. The bookmark costs 68 cents, so I have to take away that 68 cents that I owe for the bookmark in order to figure out how much change I should get back. It cost me 68 cents, I've given the cashier 75, how much change should I get back? I cannot do eight, take, or I can't do five take away eight. When there's more on the floor, you have to go next door and get 10 more. So when I go next door, I'm gonna cross off this seven. It's actually now going to become a six. And instead of a five here, it's actually going to now be a 15. Hey, okay, what is 15 minus 8? Put 8 in your head, count up to 15. Hopefully you've got 7. 6 minus 6 is 0. So they are going to owe me 7 cents back. Over here, which one of these equals 7 cents? That's right, letter B. 5, 6, 7. Guess it goes in behind there, that's okay. Let's let her be. A nickel and two pennies makes seven cents. That's how much they should give me back. Circle true or false for each statement. A dime is worth the same as 10 pennies. Mm, 10 pennies. Each penny is worth one cent. So if I have 10 of them, that means I have 10 cents. A dime is also worth 10 cents. So that means that that statement is true. A nickel is worth the same as two dimes. Think about two dimes in your head. One dime is 10 cents, so two dimes would be 10 plus 10 makes 20 cents. Is one nickel the same as 20 cents? No, a nickel is only worth five cents. A quarter is worth the same as five nickels. Okay, picture five nickels. Each nickel is worth five cents. So we're gonna skip count by five, five times. Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. They're saying a quarter is worth 25 cents. That is true. A quarter is worth the same as two dimes and one nickel. If you remember, that's kind of what I was trying to point out back here. Instead of saying 25, 35, 45, 50, we could just picture this as a quarter, dime, dime, nickel, 10, 25, and say 25, 50. So is a quarter the same as two dimes and a nickel? Yes, it is. That is true. Which set of coins is worth 31 cents? Circle all of the correct answers. We're gonna start with A and just go down the list here. We're gonna count all of the coins. If it has a value of 31 cents, we will mark that as a correct answer. Nickel, 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 penny. So we're gonna start by counting by fives and then add one at the end. Five, 10, 15, 16. 16 is not the same as 31. Quarter, 
nickel, penny. I know that a quarter has a value of 25. 25 plus 5 makes 30, plus 1 more makes 31. We do have a set of coins with a value of 31, so we're going to circle it. Here we have a quarter and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pennies. So we're going to start with our big value coin here, our quarter, 25, and we're going to count it by ones. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. It does equal 31 cents, so we're going to mark it as a correct answer. On the bottom, we have two dimes, two nickels, and a penny. You could even swap out these two nickels here and pretend it's a third dime, because 5 and 5 makes 10, just like a dime. So we could say 10, 20, plus 10 more is 30, plus 1 makes 31. Or we could say 10, 20, 25, 30, 31. Either way, it does have a value of 31 cents, making it a correct answer. Tess has more than three bills. More than three. They have a total value of $30. What bills could Tess have? I think immediately when we try to picture $30 in our head using bills, right away we think of three $10 bills. But that's not going to work here because she has to have more than three bills. How could we make $30 using more than three bills? Tess could have $31 bills. Okay, that would mean that she would have 30 bills, which is more than three, and her total value would be $30. What if Tess had two $5 bills? That's $10 and two $10 bills. Altogether, that means that she would have four bills, which is more than three, and she would still have $30. Two tens is 20, plus two fives is 10. 20 plus 10 makes $30. There are several other ways that you could answer this question as well. She could have two $10 bills and 10 $1 bills. Lots of different ways you could answer this question. As long as she has more than three bills and the total value of those bills equals $30. Good, nice work. Hopefully you learned something this week about counting coins and counting bills. I will talk to you later.